This week on Let's Play, we take the highway to the danger zone. We've got about as much time as Goosehead, so we're going to get straight to what we played this week and the introductions. Sork, how you doing and what did you play this week? Hey, it's your uh, in-house producer here at Mayhem Studios, and uh, I gotta say, I didn't get much into video games because I was like rocking the last two seasons of Weeds on Netflix, uh, but I did uh, a return to my uh, recent uh, new addiction of Plants vs. Zombies 2. Um, I, I'm, I'm holding out, uh, is the Angry Birds Star Wars 2 come out yet? Did that happen yet? Did I miss that? Um, so I'm not that, sure. cause that's going to circumvent my plants versus zombies playing. Uh, so yeah. Cool. Uh, Chachi, what'd you play and how are you doing? Uh, it is Chachi, the king of Twitter. I Chachi played, are you ready for this list? Um, I played some black ops too. I beat medal of honor and by far is the greatest, uh, campaign mode of a military game available. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you're interested in those, then go ahead and pick up medal of honor. Nice. Um, I uh, so I beat that. I uh, rebeat Arcade Craft again. Um, I deleted Magic the Gathering. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Baby steps. Um, Baby steps. I, I was playing uh, Baggate until it stopped syncing my game. Um, so I deleted that today. Um, Candy Crush, um, Plants vs Zombies Two, The Use. Okay. Cool. Uh, Riz, oh, how are Pac-Man, you doing? Pac-Man uh, Championship DX. Sorry, I forgot okay. that one. <laughs> Sorry, right. uh, Riz, what'd you play, and how are you doing? Somebody better call Kenny Loggins, because I am in the danger zone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I've only been playing Payday Two and Saints Row Four. I've recently learned that I've recently got past the initial one-day paydays. And now I'm going into the two-a-days, and it's hard as fuck. Um, it, there's there's parts where you have to go, where, where there's crashes, and you have to do it in the middle of a, like, a payday, which doesn't really count as a payday day, per se. Payday day. Payday day, per se. Um, but other than that, I haven't really played much. Um, I think I'm saving my time for, uh, you know, next week where, um, I don't know if you guys heard this yet. There's supposed to be a game coming out next week. What? What game is that? Uh, it, it's called Gitav. Oh. Ah. It, it, it's like is some sort of Gitav? Russian game. It's like some sort of Russian game, I think, because it has that name. Guitar. Does your cousin always want to play bowling with you? <laughs> or was that yeah. in the last game? That was Gitav. <laughs> Gitav. Uh, but Gitav looks pretty good. Um, I don't know much about it. I'm going to be pretty good to play it. Uh, Gitav, you have to pick it up probably to play it. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going blind here. But yeah, that's the only two games I've been playing so far. All right. Good tough. And I have been playing Avengers Alliance, which kind of pissed me off this week due to the fact that I lost um, 10 gold because of the stupid PvP. Uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I might be done with Avengers Alliance for a while. <laughs> played Simpsons what? Tapped Out. I played uh, Saints Row 4. Kingdoms of Amalur, which is actually pretty good. Um, I, I suggest you pick that up. Um, Mickey Mouse and the Castle of Illusion. I downloaded and immediately deleted because it was <laughs> not as good as it used to be. Um, I played Animal Crossing and discovered bugs. I have a black market bug uh, market now. So, um, and, I, and I also played the challenge, which was Top Gun. Did you guys play the challenge this week? I, I hate myself putting that on there. I think I played it enough as a child to circumvent me playing it again. As not that that's a I like. I cannot. I, it. I cannot the, land that plane. Yeah, that's, okay. yeah, that's okay. That's I was the, wondering about that part. That's the worst part of the game. The actual flying and the, of the planes and stuff isn't that bad. It's pretty tremendous. Um, it's not. It's no. It's no Captain Skyhawk, but it, it's not bad. I think it holds up. Just no that Starfire. landing of the plane. Oh, to bring back a quote from last week. Mm -hmm. um, from Sorg, 
I, I did play the challenge. I forgot to list it. Um, and I ended up just jihadding the shit out of that plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, thank, you, thank you for that. Uh, that's not going to help. Thanks for bringing that back. I will never let you live that down. <laughs> if we play flying games, mm-hmm. that quote is coming up. So, I think anytime we play some Call uh, of Duty next, it's going to go down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I go on a suicide mission. <laughs> oh, God. Go uh, move on. Move on. Move on. Just keep on, digging that on, hole deeper. Move on. <laughs> move on. All right. It's time for things you should be made aware of. Um, jihadding is not one of the things you should be made aware of. <laughs> move on, Bobby. Move on. Uh, the the um, GTA, GTA 5 map was released today in a leak. And, guys, it is huge. It is Tough. the size How of. How big is oops, it? It is the size of a Ninja Turtle. Actually, it kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle with a sword. It kind of looks like uh, Leonardo. Okay. Um, but it is, according to Rockstar, um, is big. The map is bigger than G- Red Dead Rege- Red Red blah, blah, Red Dead Redemption, San Andreas, and Grand Theft Auto Four combined. Wow. What? Yeah. And Sorg, I think there's a picture in that. Yeah, there's link like an animated GIF here uh, I, uh, of like one of the maps inside the other map. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Uh, oh, it's the, think, the map of the actual city. Oh, I see. I want to say this is this is the same thing we were talking about a few months ago when when the news came out about GTA Five. Um, they're just throwing everything on the table, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're they're throwing it's- a big map, multiplayer, which looks awesome, story mode, which looks awesome, and everything that looks awesome. This is the sh- this is the game where everything else that Rockstar does is a tech demo for yes. this game. Uh, uh, while we're talking did. about it, mm-hmm. um, uh, two things. One, um, is this something that everyone is picking up like yes. immediately? Uh, not not yes. right away, but I, will I am. Be. I'm, I'm thinking this fall. I already I already pre-ordered it. Okay, I, uh, I'm gonna get then it I suggest that we use this to replace our Call of Duty sessions. Okay. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Um, with the the multiplayer. Oh, you're well, that that's not up until October, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, uh, when it does come out, we'll, we'll this will replace our. Uh, Plus, you can get like well, I think in Call of Duty you can also get 16 people, but the, I think it's 16 people. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, should be and secondly, I, I read an interesting article, and I'll be swift about it. Um, but Rockstar was asked the question of why they won't let anyone make movies about their games mm-hmm. or movies based on their games. And they, they simply stated that A, the idea, the ideas come in haven't been good enough. And B, no one's willing to pay them enough money to uh, <laughs> let them put it all on the table. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> uh, they're kind of taking uh, Nintendo's model as far as. Uh, <laughs> property goes, and I thought that was pretty cool. But they don't want—they don't want to turn Vinyl into Dinotopia or Dino Hatton, right? Oh, Bob, no. <laughs> uh, Anyhow, yeah. gone. Sorry, but but yeah, um, it, the the map is just giant, giant. I mean, I, I can't wait to like just drive around to the countryside and just see like I want to see animals for the first time too. I mean, it's wait, gonna wait, be wait, fun. wait, wait, you want to drive around and see the countryside? Yeah. It's something to do in the game. Do you think? Do you think you're in the majority of people who want to do that? I don't know. It was kind of fun in San Andreas to just kind of stroll around the massness of the yeah. countryside there. And now, like, Eat. still in comparison, feels like a little corner next to this thing. I'm just gonna now take we, my now we got animals to hit. And shoot her in a, in, a, in that vast desert. There better be like it's so, there's so much country. There better be like hick version hookers. <gasps> I think there might be. You have my attention now, Sword. And they're mm-hmm. at whatever version of Walmart is in the game. Well, um, I had a discussion. Um, <laughs> I, I, I went to a wedding uh, with Chris um, this weekend. Her sister got married. And I learned two things. Uh, one, video games will make you friends with pretty much every other gamer instantly. Yeah, <laughs> hey, considering, you, considering you legitimately wear that on your sleeve. Yes. Um... Uh, one of the other bridesmaids uh, also brought uh, her boyfriend along to the uh, the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner, and so uh, 
I'm one of the only young people sitting in the church, so instantly he walks over and he sits down next to me. And he notices the tattoo, and we start discussing video games. And through the course of the weekend, we start talking about uh, Grand Theft Auto and how there's a lot of gamers out there that will just grind because they can. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And so, yeah, what Bobby said is 100% accurate. Uh, There are going to be millions of people that hop on on Sunday afternoon and just go for a Sunday drive in the video game. That's great. It's a stress reliever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. It's for the people that uh, don't really want to play, but want to play a video game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just going to be awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. Just going to point that out. More on that next week. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, All right, we're going to move on to our next thing you should be. I said if we have a show, because all of us may be still playing. (laughs) Just saying. All right. We're going to move on to our next thing you should be made aware of. And our next thing is Stan Lee. Stan Lee? Uh, Stan Lee is, has been added to the Lego uh, Marvel Lego game. Um, like he's it. basically a god in the game. <laughs> they gave him telekinesis, mind control powers, spider sense, a web swing. He can hulk out and turn into a big figure. He has eye blasts like Cyclops. Um, he can be stretchy like Mr. Fantastic. He can hack computers like Bruce Banner. And he has magnetic powers like Magneto. Oh the only thing he can't do is fly because he has web swing ability. Well, and uh, first off, uh, Stan Lee is in everything that has Marvel's name on it. Exactly. But they wanted, they wanted to make it so every, like he would be immortalized in this game. Right. You know, they wanted they wanted to outdo everything that everybody else has done. And so he's just, all he's always stated in the past that every one of the characters that he creates or has a hand in creating mm-hmm. has a characteristic that he has. Mm-hmm. So I, I mean essentially they've just took it to the next level. <laughs> to the extreme. <laughs> so Stan Lee really has telekinesis powers? He does. He does. Mm-hmm. And of course, you took that the wrong way. But no, um, I did not. Also, when That's mentioning uh, Stan Lee, you will refer to him as Stan the Manly. Stan the Manly. Okay. Excelsior. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to our news segment. Um, uh, Riz, I think uh, you have something about science and games. Science. Hey, uh, remember when video games were like evil and nobody wanted to play them? Yeah, it was last week. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, now there's a study where uh, old people who play video games, like brain video games, it actually helps. You can actually re- get your memory back, or it gets some, your memory lost, like have memory loss less in, in time. Mm-hmm. So you can still lose memory. But the memory that you have will still be with you if you play video games. Because those video games help your brain work. And well, it, go ahead. It's always well, it, it's kind of a weird study because we already kind of knew that. Well, we right. knew. It, it, it's been stated uh, for decades. Yeah, but but still if, if nobody you, if you go ahead. It's been stated for decades that if you continuously use your mind, you will never go dull. Right. And it's the same for everything. It's muscle memory. If you continuously do something and you're always uh, doing it, then that's something that you're not going to lose. Right. And as long as it's not a physical um, activity, like if you're an amazing soccer player – when you're 90, you're obviously not going to be an amazing soccer player. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. But as far as the mind goes, the mind will still be able to, to tell you what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Mm. And if you think about it, like 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 typing, you, you don't even have to look at the keys to know where they are. Almost like a controller, you don't have to look at the buttons to see where they are. Yeah. You memorize it, and right. it, it, you know, it, cause, it uh, creates good mind control, or not mind control. Uh, hand-eye coordination, that's, stuff like that's that. A, so. That's an also also a trait that Stan the Man Lee has. Mm-hmm. Mind control. Uh, but still, the, the 
the article, I mean, the video that I had was of SourceFed, uh, with, with all, which also guest starred uh, Rhett and Link. But the source underneath it was even better because it was a talking about uh, autism and mm -hmm. Down syndrome and all that. And they're saying that there are symptoms that are in mice, or that, that they found in mice or put in mice that can be triggered that can be even fixed just by using this, uh, I believe it's called, I forget what the, the, the actual name is, but they named it after Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm. <laughs> and, and what it does is, in Down syndrome patients, their, I think it's cerebrum, is the little, so the little ball right below your brain. I actually have the picture up on the thing on my on the actual site where you click on. Uh, the ball is what we're talking about here. The, the original ball is about this big, and in people with Down syndrome, it's shrunken down to about sixty percent. Mm -hmm. What they found was when they gave this injection to mice, the Sonic the Hedgehog injection it not only narr it not only uh, put the neurosystem back into place it also drew the cerebrum back to its proper position <laughs> and it, it it's cool that they named it that but uh, have they seen Sonic the Hedgehog lately <laughs> well, I don't want to be they should have called it blast it. processing. And it, it makes complete sense. I, there's companies in Europe. Um, let's see. Uh, SAP is a uh, German company. Um, there's a Danish recruitment center that specializes in it. And then there's a couple of uh, Vodafone um, Germany mm -hmm. has uh, already begun hiring hundreds, if not thousands of uh, people with autism um, for uh, beta testing, for programming, and for uh, data entry. Because um, one of the side effects of autism, um, and it's the best example there is, but think of Rain Man. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the, the math part of that is exactly true. Like they pay, they have so much attention to detail that ultimately they would be the best programmers. Mm -hmm. They would be more efficient at, because they're not going to type something unless it's right. Right. Cool. All right. Well, we're going to move on to our next segment, uh, which, or not in the segment, but our next news story, which is about the PS Vita TV, which um, they announced that uh, this uh, Vita TV, you can play. Uh, your PS Vita games on your TV. Um, and also, you can watch movies on it. You can... Um, it's basically a small console, <laughs> basically. Um, but the big thing that they announced, you can... Um, much like the, the Wii U, you can take your game and, like, say somebody wants to watch a movie in your living room, you can um, remotely connect to your PS4 and play... Um, your PS4 game on the PS Vita TV in another room. So I, I think that's very smart for Sony to do something like this. Mm -hmm. um, Xbox doesn't have anything like this, actually, so I, that might be another game changer for them. We talked about it a little bit on Awesome Cast here before this show. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a really cool idea. I, I think, it, it, and now I'm not a PlayStation person, I'm an Xbox, an iPhone, and Google device person, so uh, I, I don't need this extra box underneath my TV. But if I was somebody, mm -hmm. uh, if they had something like this for the Xbox, like, I love this idea that uh as i stated before like you have your playstation in the living room you go stick this up in the office uh in, in the in the bedroom in whatever room that you would i wouldn't mind also having playstation 4 honestly right mm -hmm. um that to make that remote I, I i said like this is for the same people that uh, more or less i know i know not exactly uh the same people that oh i gotta stop watching the tv so i'll play mario on my little wii u screen 
you know, uh, mm-hmm. being able to give up that TV, you know, yet, yet maybe have that Blu-ray player in the living room for the family for when you want to use it, but little Jimmy can go play in his room, you know. Um, I, I love that idea, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and the price point's not bad either. It's no. 95 bucks. Yeah. Um, and, and, and there's a, sp- a special version with an 8 gig um, Vita memory card and a DualShock 3 controller um, for 150, which also isn't too bad either. Basically, for another console. You know, here's so. the thing, though. It, it, the one thing I read said that was more the 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 memory on it was more for save games and not for storing games on it. So, are we downloading yeah. games directly to this device? Um, I think it uses the cloud. I think it mostly uh, stream games. Oh, oh, so it might. Oh, so this might be some of that uh, Gaiku stuff. Yeah, the Ga- yeah okay. the Gaiku stuff that they um, have. Um, that makes that sense. Because other than that, I thought it just kind of like streamed from your like if you had a Vita. Or and, and it's a way for them to use that. Yeah. You know, because they, they 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 were they were all talk way. about this Gaikai or whatever it is. God, they're they're going to really, use it for stuff. So this is the thing they're going to use if it for. If they're really great. using it that way, I, why do I need a PlayStation Four to play those yeah. games? Well, if they're going to be in the cloud. I think you need the PlayStation 4 to connect remotely to mm. to um, play PlayStation 4 games on the, the, the yeah, yeah. TV. So I, I'm wondering how much of that is an artificial need. You know what I yeah. mean? At this point, because I mean, if it's something like an OnLive or like Gaiku uh, did before, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, go ahead, Bobby. I'm going to try to get Riz back here. Oh, we lost Riz? Oh, yeah, no. we lost Riz. Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to move on to our uh, last story, which is also part of our boss battle question. Um, it is um, – uh, I wrote a story about uh, handhelds and smartphones. Uh, which do you think is better for console gaming or for handheld gaming? Um, basically, um, with the announcement of the um, – was it iPhone uh, 5S today and C, right, Sorg? Uh, yeah, the 5S and the 5C. Yeah. Um, well, with those two being announced and the PlayStation Vita TV being announced and then the 2DS, um, it seems like everybody's uh, competing for your console or for your handheld dollars. Um, and basically, it was just like a little comparison of all, of all the things that are available. Um, which you think, which we think is better? Um, which do you guys think is better for? Uh, for gaming on the go. For gaming on the go, it, it's uh, much like uh, the camera you have concept. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it's it's uh, I have an iPhone on me on, at all times, so I'm going to be gaming on that. You know, mm-hmm. um, I found I still game on it more, even having tablets and iPads and stuff uh, than anything else. Uh, unfortunately, I think the big thing that kills it is if you do have an iPhone or an Android device already. Do you really feel any want to have another device? I think that's why something like the Vita uh, and, and to a point, the Nintendo DS systems have mm-hmm. not been doing quite as well as they have been. Yeah. Um, the only the only drawback with the uh, iPhone games and stuff like that and Android, the graphics aren't as good. Um, the gameplay is pretty oh, good. I would, I, would, I would not say that about... At yeah. least, um, because you have... I'm sorry. Give me... <laughs> Uh, you know, I have a terrible let's, let's hear Chachi's opinion while I try to get Riz back, okay? Okay. Um, the, my, my opinion is simple. Um, which which option can I play Zelda on? Mm. 3DS. Or, or now so, 2DS. Exactly. That's the one I want to game on. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll play games on my phone. Mm-hmm. And I do often. However... That's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, and and you can get pretty graphically intensive games for like around eight bucks on phones and stuff like that. But like the it's little ninety nine cent games are good and a fix, but they're nowhere near compared to like Super Smash Brothers, um, or even like you, even like um, PS4 game quality or PS3 game quality on uh, a handheld Vita or something like that. You know, mm-hmm. still so, one really, go ahead. one device is set for is made for video games. Mm-hmm. The other is not. Yeah. yeah. Sure, the games are there and have always been there, and that's fine. I accept that. But uh, the graphics, even with Apple's new A7 chip that they're putting in the new phones, the graphics will still be better on my handheld gaming device. I'd like to see a comparison point, because I don't feel like I've seen that in a good while. 
You know, I have not seen a direct comparison point with that. Uh, or power or anything like that. Um, uh, because Phones aren't in 3D. The, yeah, there's that too. Uh, <laughs> the specs that they talk about on this new phone are pretty respectable. And again, I'd like to look at that as well and see what the, how right, those compare. I, I'm not um, saying that they're not respectable. But it's not a gaming console. No, not by design. Originally, it's definitely backdoored. But, I mean, the, one of the things with the new iPhone was there's this idea that you move the phone and there's this motion thing. And they're like, wow, they had to do something really interesting in the software. I mean, Windows isn't a gaming platform, is it, Josh? It's not intended for gaming, but a lot of people do it that way. Same with the Macintosh, mm -hmm. yeah, to a lesser extent. Um, I don't see any difference between saying PC gaming is, is a bullshit uh, a gaming platform uh, versus the phone. I think things are becoming very good. I think the demo they showed off today looked very impressive. Um, yes, First there's off. a different kind of controls. Um, yes, I can uh, uh, calculate and do my finances on it, but I can do that on my Windows PC as well. First off, um, never did I say that uh, mobile gaming uh, through a phone was bullshit gaming. No, I'm no, just no, saying no, no, it's I, not I, console I, I, gaming. I understand. I didn't make a leap. It's a, you're saying it's not a gaming device. Uh, except for the, in, except so for I, the I, engage. I was painting a broad stroke with that. Except uh, for the engage. So, Can we all agree on that? It, yeah, yeah, at the end. My rebuttal to the PC part is that, um, no. Uh, to start off with, uh, PCs were not made for gaming. No. Uh, you were nope. 100%. However, through time... Uh, the parts have been geared more towards gaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and only if you want them to be. Mm -hmm. So you're right. It, PCs weren't for gaming, but now they are. Mm -hmm. It's a legitimate gaming platform. Okay. However, iPhones and Androids aren't at that point yet. I uh, know. No, you're, okay. not, okay. you're not going out to get a new phone to play the hottest new mobile game. Here's, here's um, but they're trying to change that. Have you noticed that there is the NVIDIA Tegra store? For anything with a NVIDIA Tegra chip, uh, you can get games that are like made for it. I'm see we're, we're seeing that 3D revolution there. You don't hear about it as much with the Apple devices because more or less built into everything else else they do on there um everything they talked about today helps gaming just as much as every el everything else you would want to do on this phone um i think i i think it is getting there but it's going to look different um and it's not there yet and no and it's not there <laughs> yet it, but i it's it's good I enough mean, i i think i think the the issue is this is a trojan horse and it's taking mind share away from the direct gaming platform um i, I mean, we've, how we've many both... kids how many kids get ipod touches instead of ds's these days oh, you know a lot. Uh, quite a few ton. a ton nobody's nobody's happy with just doing one thing because we all have devices that do 10 things but, so it doesn't make, again why why spend 180 dollars on a on a console that uh plays here, games the thing. and does here, one the... thing when i can get a thing that does this and it plays music i don't have to get them an ipod as well because it that's is it that right too. there yeah that, that's that's the exact way because you, it's not a gaming thing my your phone is a phone it's also a music device it's also a gaming device kind of because mm -hmm. we've all played we've all played both nba jams <laughs> console and yep and mobile which one would you prefer dude i love the crap out of the one on my phone i love the crap out of the one on my ipad i gotta say we have to make sure we don't forget to loop in iPads and, and Android tablets and everything like that in with this too. Because so I think there's still very viable uh, uh, comparisons there. But do you see Candy Crush coming to console? At this rate, yes. We have it's Plants vs. Zombies. We have you're paying fifty bucks for three Angry Birds games. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I, I mean, it's 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 happening. The they're, they're going to do that. I don't know how many... I mean, the people that... That's for I that group of people that don't happen to have this thing to pick it up for a buck. Uh, I don't, I don't see it. it. Oh, I really it's, don't. It's happening. You got your peggles. I, I don't see it because I've played two different types of things. I have played Minecraft on the computer. Mm -hmm. This thing right here. And I also played it on my Xbox. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, I... I don't like Minecraft as much as I played Minecraft out in also my available on your phone too. Um, and on the phone, of course. I didn't play on the phone because I'm not that desperate. <laughs> but the fact is, I'd rather play it on my PC 
than on my Xbox. Because the one on your PC is the original PC version of Minecraft. The one on Xbox isn't Minecraft. It's, a, it's, 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 it's Minecraft, but it's a different Minecraft that doesn't really feel like Minecraft. Just point that out. And that, that's uh, why I don't think I don't think on like PC games like a Minecraft would work on consoles like this. Or I, like they tried it with Fruit Ninja. They tried it with Fruit Ninja and for the Connect. For the Connect, and that, that is one of the top things that I wanted to play, but I can also play in the arcade. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's there. Um, there's always going to be these crossover attempts. I don't. I'm not saying that that Candy Crush is going to be as huge on the console as it is on our phones and Facebook. Okay. Um, I, I see the kids playing Plants vs Zombies and 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 uh, Candy Crush in the lab at, at, at school. You know, I mean, it, it's that's accessibility is the issue there. But I'm saying that they're they're going to put this out uh, to make that little bit of money that they will make for those people that don't have the eye devices, don't do Facebook, don't do this. Because hey, believe it or not, some people are not on Facebook, um, and it's a significant enough number to throw uh, Plants vs Zombies Nebraska. On, on a ten dollar or I'm sorry, a twenty dollar stick. A, I saw Plants vs Zombies one on a twenty dollar disc at walmart the other day you know just because it's like that's for the guy that doesn't have internet you know or he doesn't mm-hmm. do all this other stuff and nebraska. it makes sense there's always going to be that guy somebody's got to get nebraska their plants versus zombies all right, guys. that's all i gotta I, say I, on that first part good luck to talk guys <laughs> are we are we on the bass boss battle now I think it's, been, been, it's, been, it's been a yeah, boss battle. It was kind of right. married into the thing. Yeah. But, um, all right. Well, our challenge this week is going to be Wayne's World, because that was the second place game in our straw poll. This is a Super so, Nintendo uh, edition. Play that. Is it? Super Nintendo edition. Super Nintendo edition? Okay. Um, Party time. So, Super Nintendo edition for that one. And um, you can find us on the internet on the internets at uh, insertcointobegin.com. And you can hey, follow Bobby. us on Twitter at, hey, at insertcointv. I love you, man. And for that's gonna do it for us. So swing, game over. I, I love I love you, man. <laughs>